Uh, so what, what we're looking to show you today is how to connect the uh, Becker pump, how to set up the Becker pump and connect it to our grid vacuum table. Uh, the Becker pump is a dry running pump that can run 24-7. Uh, so here's the setup of the pump. It's fairly simple. Uh, we have the, uh, the hose that comes out uh, with the airflow that's connected to the filter right there. And then on the underside, you can see the, uh, the connection. Uh, it's a hun standard 110-volt connection, uh, pretty easy to set up. Uh, and it plugs in right there, and we'll, we'll show you uh, kind of how we use that to turn it on and off here in a moment. And then the hose uh, comes out of the filter uh, and up through the manifold, or connects to the manifold. And uh, the manifold there, you can see the connection point. Uh, it it, it uh, slides in real easily, connects to the... Uh, to the hose and you just want to make sure you have a good connection there uh, no leaks obviously um, so that you have uh, good airflow from the pump into the manifold so here's where the the blue hoses uh, connect from the manifold uh, to the vacuum table uh, the example we're going to show you here in a moment is an RAL table uh, the, the the hoses connect uh, very easily you can see there with the uh, the black stopper uh, the, they go in very easily and you can tell when you let go of the stopper the, the hose is in securely and you have a good connection. Uh, and then uh, the hose comes from the manifold and uh, to a connection point on the plate. Uh, here we have one already set up and there's an example of what it looks like before uh, you add it to the side of the plate and it uh, connects very easily. Uh, you s screw it in and then uh, uh, just with a, with a wrench you just uh, Tighten it up a little bit, again, making sure you have a secure connection so that uh, uh, you don't have any leaks or anything uh, with the airflow from the pump through the manifold into the table. And then uh, there's the, uh, the hose that goes into the new connection point. Uh, just similar to the manifold, you just press down on the black stopper and then uh, put the hose in there. And uh, if you give it a little tug, you'll know you got a good connection. Then there's uh, blinds on the grid vacuum tables. Uh, this is an RAL like I mentioned, but uh, most of our grid vacuum tables have the blinds and you just need to remove those for each uh, each section of the plate where you want airflow. Uh, typically, uh, often you would, you would just take all of the blinds out. And depending on the size of the grid vacuum table, there may be a different number of blinds, but the concept in terms of removing them and using them for the airflow is the same. Uh, and then the tubing uh, is used to kind of isolate the, uh, or, or, or uh, make sure that the airflow uh, is held in a certain area so that it holds down the product that you're working with. Uh, so in this case, we're just going to put it around the edge of the table, utilizing all the um, suction that's coming through both of the blinds. And we just, uh, again, uh, we want to make sure we have a, a good connection and have it there uh, securely through the grids. And then here's the uh, connection from the pump that we can turn on. And then we can see the, uh, the pressure change there on the gauge so we know we have a good connection and we have airflow. And then we have the valves on the manifold so that we can then turn on the air going to the plate. And then you can hear the air is actually coming through so we know we're, we're getting suction. And then we can use an example of just putting a mat down and you'll be able to see pretty clearly that uh, we have a good a good seal and good airflow and there's very little chance that we're going to have any movement of that of that product. 